Hi guys, I'm Andy, I'm back again. Uh, I noticed a few of my HGV driving videos were getting quite a bit of attention, uh, so I've decided to do another one. And my videos aren't um, designed to be absolutely perfect and you must go via them, but they're designed to help uh, the younger drivers out and just the people that are just new into a job and get thrown into the deep end. Uh, so I'm going to start with a fairly basic video, and it's just a couple of them uh, up a trailer. Uh, so I've arrived at this trailer, um, I know it's loaded. Um, but I'm going to show you how to couple up and a few points to note. So I know it's loaded, uh, I'm going to get that wheel down, uh, my middle axle. That'll help take a bit of the weight of the trailer. So I'm going to press here. You'll see how I'm dropping. And that's how I'm dropping down. Uh, at any point I need to do stuff with two hands and I will just pause the video and I'll, I'll restart it once I've done it, whatever. Now, now I'm going to look at the height of the, the fifth wheel. Uh, she looks a little bit high there. Um, so I'm going to drop it down a bit. Using my remote. There we go. Just press that button. I'll drop the suspension down. I'll drop it down a good bit. And basically, what I'm doing is she should be about level there. So go under. I won't be connecting in. I'll need to lift it up. I'm bringing the fifth wheel to about here and then I'll be uh, raising my suspension, but it makes it much easier on the truck and much easier on the first wheel itself if you uh, if you take a bit of weight off the, the actual truck itself. Right, I'm waiting to reverse back to where I should be. And also, uh, sorry, just a point, Luke. If this trailer uh, was dropped overnight uh, and loaded overnight, it can quite often lose, uh, lose air pressure out of the airbags at the back and the, the legs won't adjust. So that can actually put the nose of the trailer a good bit higher. Uh, so you will need to adjust your suspension accordingly to that as well. Give us a second, I'll go and uh, go under. Okay, now we're back to Ronda. You can see roughly where about I am. There's my kingpin. All right, plenty of room. And we go under. I'm banging the centre there. So I know I'm going back perfectly. But there's still a gap there. So I'm going to need a razor on. Take my remote. Press that button, and we'll see our raising. That's our raising up. Now, keep raising her up. It'll take time, and you might drop some air pressure out of the truck. But let her build the air pressure back up, and raise her right up. You'll see the legs lifting off the ground. Really important. If you can try and get the legs off the ground, when you go back and fully connect up, and when you do a pull forward, to check that you're definitely connected, you're not going to put these legs under strain and your feet under strain because they're off the ground. So I'll go and reverse back and click in there. Okay, I've reversed back, I've clicked in in place. Now I'm going to put it in first gear and I'm just going to do two jumps forward. And the truck won't move. So she's definitely connected, I'm happy with that. Okay, now I wonder, I'm clicked in, I've pulled forward and I'm happy enough with that. Now I usually use five steps uh, to make sure that my hook up goes perfectly well. And number one is always my handle a hit, make sure she's right across in there. Okay, make sure it's right in and go and clip. Always first. That's the first thing. All the, every time. Every time. Okay. Right. Here's my part break. But I'm not, uh, not going to touch that just now, but I know where it is. So that's always last when you're hooking up. It's always first, you always put it on first when you're disconnecting. Right, number plate, that's number three. And, uh, always count it out in five. All right, dog clip, number plate, part brake, legs, airlines and Susie's. Okay, All right, legs. Now, let's say for instance, uh, when you're putting up your legs, if your trailer uh, knows, had rested and uh, your nose went a little bit high and your legs are still on the ground and you pulled it out and you couldn't move your legs some of you might probably know this if you pull it out that's your normal gear in to twist and pull your legs up however it's very tough put it back in and that's a lower gear neutral's in the middle that's in the middle that spins about adjusting the legs for a low gear and you'll adjust it anyway. Right, that's my legs up. Handle stowed back in place. Very important. Now, for Susie's. 
45. We've got two airlines and well I've got uh, two of your lights, uh, your, your light controls or connections in here. Some of them might have a 12 pin plug so it'll be a two plugs similar to that. If you do have it, have a look inside. They're totally different inside. Uh, so just have a look at your your plugs and make sure you've got the right one going into the right uh, slot. Now, just a little bit to note, uh, a little point that I think is quite cool. Um, whenever you're connecting up your airlines, uh, there's always a gush of air sometimes comes out. It's always a good idea just to get into the habit of um, just shutting your eyes when you connect up. So any grit, salt and anything that gets caught in there over the winter time can shoot out, bounce up and hit you in the eye. Very unlikely. However, the day you do an idea, it's probably the day you get hit in the eye. So just get into the habit. It's only shutting your eyes, it's not a big deal. Get on with it. Alright, that's on. Spin it around, okay? Spin it around so it's away. You don't want that riding like that and popping off when you're running. Disaster. That'll walk your trailer brakes up and you'll come stationary on the road. Okay? Now's your control airline. Okay? That will allow your brakes to come off the trailer, that one. However, when you press the brakes in the unit, this one will control your trailer. Yeah. Hold on a second. Right, I needed two hands for that, but we're all good now. That's perfect. Connecting up my ABS. Be gentle with it. If it doesn't go, just uh, play about with it. Don't try and ram it in or check to make sure your pins aren't bent. Uh, you'll cause a lot of damage if you do just go for it in a one -er. Okay, dope. With the left hand light. And another right hand cable. Now the lights are on. Dab on. Okay, so I've got her hooked up. The last thing to do, always, is your part brake. Just keeps you safe. Bang, off. Off she goes. Done. Now, before I get back into the cab, I will stand at the cab door, put my gloves back in where they should be, and then I always have a quick check. I get back out of the stand back, and I go, right, go clip, done. There. Number plates on, legs are up, sorry, legs are up, and uh, shoes are on, and last but not least, my part brake's been lit off, and I'm happy with that. So, back into the cab, grab your switch to level out your suspension, and I'm going for this one here, and that'll level down, and you see her leveling off. Hopefully this has been a help to you. Um, when disconnecting, exactly the same. However, leave your part brake, uh, put your part brake on first, and that'll be all you all the way.